Hey there YouTube, it's the Black Natural Plant Based Mama and today I'm just going to be showing you what we are eating for dinner before we go to a late evening show to watch Transformers. So I've had some pinto beans cooking in the crock pot all day today and now I'm getting ready to make some jiffy vegetarian cornbread to go with it. Stay tuned! Okay, so first up, like I said, I've had some pinto beans going all day, a very large amount. I soak these overnight, and then just to help take out some of the gaseous causing features, I, this morning, I rinsed out that water that they had been soaking in completely. I put in probably about a quarter to a half cup of baking soda, put in more water, made sure the baking soda got dissolved, and then I let it soak for probably about another two hours before I started cooking it. So I didn't film like all of the spices and everything that I used in here, but um, it is eight o'clock. And I have had these going since about one o'clock. I had them on high for about four or five hours and then I moved it down to low. Um, just so as you can kind of see it was starting to get real solid there around the edges. But these beans are perfectly cooked. I did not put a whole lot of water in there. And so that way that means that the sauce that I have or the juice that I have is not too, too, too heavy. So this pot of beans can do a couple of things. This can be refried beans, this can be beans and rice. And so this one I'm deciding on um, just cornbread. So here we go. I didn't put any of the beans in first into the crock pot, but I put the uh, better than bouillon in there some water, and then just went to town on seasoning. Because it's such a big amount of beans, I made sure that I was very generous on the seasonings in the liquid that the beans were cooking in initially. So there is garlic in here. I probably put a good teaspoon plus of minced garlic, also smoked paprika, cumin, salt, pepper, liquid smoke for a bit of smoky flavor. I could not find my bay leaves, but I did have some ground bay leaf. So I probably put about a teaspoon of that in. Um, some turmeric, because I honestly just throw turmeric in everything. Some chili powder. Like I said, I was very, very generous on the spices. And then I tasted it probably about five or six hours in. Decided it was still a little bit bland, so I threw some more in there. I threw a little more salt, and then my Soulard Grill seasoning that I told you guys about that just kind of have a little bit of everything in there. It's basically like a good version of Mrs. Dash. So I sprinkled probably a good tablespoon of that in there, and a little bit of extra salt and pepper. And I did also put um, just regular hot sauce in here, not sriracha, just regular Louisiana hot sauce. Um, I put in probably about three tablespoons of that. Not so much for heat, but just for the flavor because it's Louisiana hot sauce as well as sriracha, but Louisiana hot sauce has a really good flavor. And again, these beans are absolutely cooked perfectly. So I let that stuff go. I whisked the uh, bouillon and everything, gave that a few minutes on high in the crock pot by itself to heat up. And then I added in the beans and adjusted my water. But I would say probably to cook this whole thing of beans, I'm sure I did not use more than about two and a half cups of water. Um, one of the joys of using a crock pot. So, and put the lid on it and just let it go. 
again, the absolute joys of using crock pots and definitely something that you should be more familiar with. Pick up one if you don't have one. You can find small ones really cheap. Yard sales are a great place to grab crock pots and every store from a special buy at Aldi to Target to Bed Bath & Beyond, you can find crock pots everywhere. All right, now on to the cornbread. So this is the cornbread that I'm using. This is the Jiffy Vegetarian Cornbread Mix. And you're just supposed to add the egg and milk. So you have to check the ingredients on it uh, because the regular one, I believe it actually has lard in the mix, which is kind of weird, but it's definitely not vegetarian or vegan. So anyway, this is the one that I am using. And instead of using a flax egg, which is what I go is kind of my go-to thing, I am trying this out for the first time. This is the neat egg that I ordered, um, eggs, the vegan egg substitute. Now this is not one to use in place of like scrambled eggs. And I do love that it says that specifically on the back of it. Um, you know, it's to be using recipes where egg is needed, not a standalone egg. And as you can see, all the qualifiers at the top, 100% vegan, soy-free, gluten-free, non-GMO, and guilt-free. And, wow, look at that lengthy ingredient list. Chia seeds and garbanzo beans. Tough life. Okay. So, um, but what you're supposed to do is two tablespoons of water to one tablespoon of neat egg mix, mix, and that equals one egg. This mix requires one egg per box. So I've got two tablespoons of the neat egg mixture in here, and then I've just got some water waiting to mix that in there. And by the way, I thought this was really cute on the side of here. It tells you some substitutes um, for the alternatives. Instead of egg, half banana mash, a tablespoon of soy flour, a teaspoon of flaxseed ground, or a quarter cup of white beans pureed. And we all know the joys of aquafaba, so that could probably be on the list as well. So next up is pouring our two tablespoons, or in this case, it will be four into it and since I'm doing this all one-handed I don't have it up on the stand today here we go one two that's for one egg three and that one was a little short so four all right That's it, it's kind of a doughy consistency, so. Okay, all mixed it is. We will set that aside and go for what's next. Okay, so we've got our two containers of Jiffy Mix in here. Again, vegetarian, and we're gonna make it vegan. Next up, let's put this neat egg in there. Will it go in by itself? Okay, so now that our two neat eggs are in there. And to that we add two thirds cup of plant-based milk. And this one I'm using almond with just a little bit of soy, cause why not? Okay, and now we mix. So I didn't like the way it was looking, so I added in probably about a quarter cup uh, more water 
And then that dark you're seeing is some turbinado sugar because probably just about a tablespoon because whenever I would make regular Jiffy, that's what I would do is add in just a little bit of sugar or honey or something like that. So I'm going to have the full experience. I'm gonna have the full experience. Yeah, that's looking much better. Before, it was like a bread dough. It looked like I could knead it. So, um, yeah, for that neat egg, I don't know what was supposed to happen, but I'm going to guess next time three tablespoons of water for every tablespoon of neat egg, because otherwise it was like a little paste. Now that is so much better. I don't see those streaks of the neat egg that I was seeing in there before. So I put in about a half teaspoon, maybe a full teaspoon because it's kind of curled up, of the vegan butter, Earth Balance Organic. And I'm going to stick that in the oven for a minute and let it melt and then just kind of move it around the pan. There we go. See, that is what I meant by letting it melt. And now it's time to pour our mix in there. Okay, mix poured. Spreading it out to both ends. So now that that's done, into the oven it goes. Okay, 400 degrees, 20 minutes, and go. Time to get the cornbread out. Hmm. Smells good. Mm, we have cornbread. Let's get the serving show on the road. Because, turn the oven off, because it's 9-11, the movie theater is like seven minutes away, so we've got to grub and run. Okay, dinner is served. This is mine, so I'm just going to take off a piece and see what I think. Okay, we have a winner. It's still good cornbread.